how much further should the U.S. continue to support Israel while our own people here in America are suffering, our veterans are suffering, homelessness is suffering, and, and the way that Israel conducting this military operation is causing too much civilian casualties. But, but how, how should we, how would you answer that? Yeah, I think, there's, I think there's two things. I think, one, Israel has minimized, the, first of all, the numbers of casualties are inflated by Hamas. They're the ones giving the numbers, okay? They're not accurate numbers. Even the UN had a pullback, mm-hmm. UNRWA had a pullback saying, no, they're not accurate. Um, so, the, but again, any life that is lost is horrible. But the yes. question is, what do you do when you have an organization that says we will do this again and again and again to you yep. if we have an opportunity? Who uses hospitals? Who uses mosques? Who uses schools? Who uses the people as human shields <sighs> for this purpose? Oh. What I would say is yes, that is horrible. But what I'd say is that the Palestinian people will never be free if Hamas is the organization that is ruling over them because yeah. they murder anyone who does not agree with them or go along with their program. And they've taken billions of dollars and instead of building schools and infrastructures and in making uh Gaza, a beautiful place. Yeah. They've stored up weapons and built tunnels and yeah. they take the aid that comes in. So even for the sake of the Palestinians, they, ha- they need to be liberated from this evil, in, in my opinion. But I, but, but, I, but I think there's something else. I think, this, I think this something else is this, is that I think we have to remember that this attack against Israel is not just an attack against Israel. So that's a mistake a lot of people make. This attack is actually an attack twofold. One, it's attack against the West. Mm. It's attack against America. Because what's happening is Hamas is funded by Iran. Iran is in relationship with Russia and with China. And basically, all those nations, what they have in common and why they're united is that they are united against the United States because they no longer want us to be the world's superpower, Power. either militarily or economically. Economic. And so they are looking to undermine our authority and our place in the world. They can't directly come against us here, but they're beginning there and they're trying to distract the world from all the other things that wow. are going on. And this is, and it's attack against God. It's attack against Judeo-Christian values and Judeo-Christian faith as well. Because Hamas wants to prove that God's a liar. God's a liar, um, and they're mocking America. America can't defend their allies, yep. and they're not going to come to their aid. And what they're doing on the college campuses to... I mean, look, here's the crazy thing on the college campuses. It's one thing to be concerned about the Palestinians' rights. It's another thing to say, we support Hamas, who are murderers and rapists. Yes. And, 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 then, and then say, we, and then so many of these go to, we want to kill the Jews in general. Exactly. I, this, I, is not, this is not something that is peaceful. And this is a way Iran and these organizations are infiltrating America yep. to ultimately turn, on, turn, peop- turn us on ourselves. Ultimately. How much time have you spent in Israel? A lot. Yeah. Lot, yeah, it's interesting to me that a majority of this uh, college movement, the Free Palestine movement, when it comes from these colleges and making a lot of the Jewish students very uh, uncomfortable and, and and bullied, but none of them have ever been a Israel, let alone Palestine. Well, here's the crazy thing: in Israel, there are over two and a half million Palestinians that they they, they you know they have full freedom. They vote. Um, they serve in the Israeli government. They serve on the Supreme Court. Um, no, are things perfect? No. In Israel. In Israel. In Israel. Holy moly. Yeah. It, there's 2.5 million Arab citizens of Israel that have complete rights in Israel. So when people say Israel is an apartheid state, is it an absolute lie? Because an apartheid state is that, that there is a minority group right. that has their rights uh squash that they yeah. don't have rights in South Africa the uh south the uh, africans uh south africans could not vote yeah. right it was the white south africans that had the, this is not the case in Israel uh muslims palestinians all can vote they're represented in the government they're represented on all levels of israeli society it's just not true what's clear is that when you see and what's disturbing is when you see these students yelling from the river to the sea Palestine will be free. From the river is the Jordan River, the sea is the Mediterranean. You're basically saying we're wiping Israel off the map. It's right in between. 
Because right. that's, that's, that's where right. Israel <laughs> exists. Yeah. So, I mean, this is the thing. Israel has always been for coexistence. They have, you know, Gaza has been under complete Palestinian control for, you know, 15 or so years. Mm -hmm. The West Bank, most of it, it, so much of it is under Palestinian control. They're not under military occupation by Israel. They're not allowed to create a standing military, but wow. otherwise they have freedom to govern and to do whatever they want to do to, de yep. to, to develop whatever society they want to develop. And so it's concerning to me that this is the direction that so many of our college students are taking, not one of how do we find mutual coexistence, how do we find a solution to peace, but in what it seems is the solution to peace is the destruction to Israel. They, right. they don't want peace, they want every piece of the land of Israel. That's, right. That's what they want. That's right. Yeah.